Hello, it's Mike Farley. We're in Argyle, Texas, and we have a spectacular backyard in a tiny space. We have almost everything you can think of if you want to hang out. Actually, this pool is set up for hanging out and for activity. We took the basketball goal out. There's a picture we'll show you of it later. We took the volleyball net out we'll, to show you a picture of that later. We got all of the hanging out stuff still in here. So the first thing is we had a big elevation change. We went 100 inches from the porch down to the top of the retaining wall. Not the bottom of the retaining wall, the top of the retaining wall. The other thing is the entrance into this yard is this big. Okay, so we had to dig this pool before the foundation of the house was done. That takes a lot of math and figuring things out, but it all worked. So what we did is it came down 18 inches to the upper terrace. Your spa is on the upper terrace. It sits eight people very comfortably. It's an eight by eight. There's steps in the corner so you can walk down and get into the spa. Or if you don't want to walk down, you can sit on the edge by walking down to the lower terrace and sit and spin your legs around. Very comfortable for eight. So we've got three ledge loungers, not two, not one, but three ledge loungers on this tanning ledge so people can hang out here. We've got these cool sheer descents coming out of the wall because we had two lines of sight that were important. We had the master bedroom wing right there. Their windows are shut right now. They'd like some privacy, uh, but they want to look out every morning and see a water feature. So this water feature you can see from the master bedroom. The other thing is the gushers are here to give some nice noise. They're on two separate pumps, so you don't necessarily have to have it all going at once. Then we've got the other line of sight, which is from the family room in the master, the family room in the living room area, looking out at the black scuppers that contrast really nicely with the textured tile. Now the textured tile, you'll have to check it out later on some other pictures, is on the back side as well as the front side here. So when you're in the master bedroom looking out, it's not different on both sides. But the far side, nobody can see that. And so we actually match this ugly orange retaining wall over here, the stonework that's on that. Okay, we've got some nice benches on the sides here. And then we had a nice area for general activity. So what happens is we've got LED lights in the pool to light it up at night. We've got LED lights in the steps. I call these dry steps because they're not water in them, but you step down to the tanning ledge here. And then we came off the initial porch 18 inches to come down to the upper terrace. Now, in an ideal world, what you want is to do a drop brick ledge or a drop stucco ledge all the way down to the terrace. And that wasn't really clearly communicated with the builder. And so he left the stucco line up at the building line for the house. So they came in and tried to do some textured and coloring on it. It was supposed to happen on the foundation here at the porch as well. So we came in and used a piece of stone to cover up that foundation. You want the plants down lower. You don't want to come in and do raised beds because then it would make everything feel tighter in here. And then also some of the plant material might block the views from inside the house. I mean, we got floor all the way to the floor windows in there. So you want to be able to see out and see the whole pool area. So over here, we stepped down 24 inches. So we can either exit the pool over on the ledge or we've got a step right here and goes to the bench and another step so we can walk in this direction as well. Beautiful glass tile. We tied that in with what was on the raised wall on the other side, but then we wanted something different over here, so we used the textured tile. We have a finger ledge all along that raised wall from a safety standpoint. So if anyone swims over here and they need something to hold on to, they've got a finger ledge from a safety standpoint. Everything worked around this tree. Tree had to stay. So there was a curb in this lower retaining wall. We still needed to be a certain distance away from this for air and moisture to go to the tree. So that's where this radius comes in here. Uh, radius right around the tree trunk itself. Now, here's a little trick. We wanted to have a s upper porch coming out of the master bedroom. It was basically a walkway out, but they decided it'd be a really cool place for a couch because we've got these water features and everything to look at. And so in doing that, made the deck bigger. The steps got larger. They got pushed out a little farther this way. So it got really tight here with us trying to get around tree steps because we have to go along here to access steps that go down to the lower equipment where the pool's equipment is at because there was no room up here to put up pool equipment so it's down at a lower level uh itself so we've got everything in this backyard everything for basketball the volleyball we got places to hang out we got water features we got an excellent spa we've got all kinds of furniture up on the upper terrace the dining area and the living area we dealt with over 100 inches in elevation drop 
Uh, of course, because of that, this was a lot of fill dirt. We had to do helical piers underneath this from a structural standpoint. You'll have to check out a video on those later on. So hopefully that's helpful for you to understand everything. I'm real comfortable walking around here barefoot. So one of the things we wanted to, to do was break up the paving with a little bit of greenery. So we didn't have a lot of room for planting. So the synthetic turf was a nice addition as well. So hopefully that's all helpful for you. If it is, pass it on to your friends, give us a thumbs up. And if you're in DFW, give us a call. We'd love to work with you on your project. We work with real tiny ones and we work with monsters and everything in between. So if you're not in DFW, that's why we these, do these videos is to help you out with where you're at. So thanks again. This is Mike Farley, Argyle, Texas. We'll talk to you later.